So this is a quick video demo that goes along with my latest post at peachtechprojects.wordpress.com. And what this is is um, a bunch of projects in the previous post all kind of combined and mashed up into one. So the way this is working right now is um, I have, um, if you've seen in previous videos and posts, this is an Arduino. Um, it's connected up to the SDA266, which is a very cheap, like a $4 Wi-Fi module. Um, and their Arduino is also connected up to three LEDs over here. And then I also connected up to an LCD. Um, so in previous videos, that's what I was demoing, where you can see that I can use um, some web interfaces that I created um, to toggle these uh, three LEDs remotely. So in that, those cases, it was just a web page that was being served up by the Arduino. Uh, a little clunky because you know you, uh, it was just a form, and then you had a button to submit the LEDs to turn on and off. And I wanted to use a custom Android app to make this a little bit more um, smooth. And so this is what the uh, App Inventor app looks like. Uh, I blogged about it in the blog, and so you can go over there and take a look and see all the different uh, code that's behind all these things here. So. First off, what I'm going to do is, um, you can see here, here's the FOSS cam, and it's aimed at the project here. And so you can see, and the idea is that I will be able to see in real time over here in this window. Um, you can't really see it yet, but I'm going to go ahead and load it. Um, right there, I'm going to hit go, and it goes to this address here. And that one is a temporary address that I have created um, using a service through my ASUS router, uh, a DDNS service, where it will um, allow me to access my router from external public addresses. Uh, I'll probably change that right after this video, so if you're going to try to go in there and try to do all this, it probably won't work by the time you get there, just to let you know. So I'm going to go ahead and set this down for a second. Uh, it's hard to type password, the password in there with uh, just one hand. And so I'm going to go ahead and I've typed in the password and what it's going to do is it'll take it a second because it's on, if you've noticed here, it's actually on 4G. I'm not on a, my internal Wi-Fi router even. So um, this is just a demo to show how I can do this from anywhere outside my house, not just inside my house. Um, and I hit the mobile phone. And again, this is the actual um, web page that's being served up by this Fox cam here that I've got aimed at this thing, at this project. So it takes a little while and you'll see it's going to show up in a second. And there it is. Uh, get it more centered, and you can see that you can see the LCD, which is over here, and the three LEDs behind it um, on this little window here in my App Inventor app. And it's a little bit hard to see, but I'm going to see if I can get it in here. This is what the FOSS cam is aimed at. Uh, you can see here it's there, and then it's aimed pretty much at this picture. It ends up being looking like what's showing up on my cell phone. So now what I'm going to do is. I'm going to go ahead and test the three buttons here, the red, green, and blue LED to turn on. So um, I'll go ahead and turn on the blue LED, the one that's easiest to see. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the blue button, and you can see, oh, uh, I guess I haven't, I didn't uh, put the web address of the, the Arduino right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I turn the blue on, and you can see after a little bit of delay, there's the blue one, it turned on. Uh, let me turn, take off the keyboard. You see there, so the blue LED turned on, and I click the blue LED off button, and the blue LED will turn off on the screen after a little delay. Now, if you're wondering, the delay is actually because of the live feed or maybe the communication through the internet to finally get from my cell phone to the 4G network to my router and to the SB 8266 and finally to the Arduino. So what I'm going to see if I can do here is uh, maybe I can get these two together at the same time. It's kind of hard to focus at both. So right now you'll see that there's no... Well, let me do it from the other side here. See, there's no LEDs on right now, and this is the actual setup, not through my um, live feed. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is you'll see, try to get these pictures at the same time. I'll hit the on button for the blue. Oops. You can see the blue's already on, but down here it's not on yet. Eventually, there. So there's like a three or four second delay. It's pretty long, but of course it's on 4G. So then I'll tr uh, you'll see I'll turn it off here off. Turned off right away pretty much. 
Oops. And it's still, uh, and then it finally turns off on my live feed. So it works pretty well. I mean, everything works. Um, just a little bit slow. There's the red LED, and you can see red LEDs on over here. Finally, red LED turns on over there. So, and then green, turn it on, turned on, not on yet. Now, there. And then turn on blue, blue's turned on, takes a little while. Wow, this one's taking a while. And blue turns on finally. So that's pretty much the whole setup. Um, that's what I blogged about. I've taken in many different pieces from previous blogs and kind of mashed them all together. So um, if you want to see a little bit more details on this and you're kind of stumbling onto this video through uh, YouTube, you can go to my blog that I will post in the description of this video. And you can go over there, take a look at this uh, details of this project and all the other pieces that go along with it previously.